Hey everyone, recently I got quite a peculiar task from Wanted of making a fat, kind of a bloated bat and I thought it is a, a good uh, theme to make a video on because it's... Uh, while I got the task, I thought of a techniques to make it work correctly and I sort of, I guess, found a way to uh, make it work efficiently. So maybe if you got a task like that for your RP server you're working on, uh, this video would be helpful to you. I will show it both in Blender and 3ds Max, how to do it correctly with LODs while preserving the skinning either the model you have created before, so you have it done, or if you have some vanilla uh, free mode pads that you construct yourself, and it will work as well. Before we start, if you're a server owner, we just released a new sci-fi pack of weapons. Uh, also, we just released a legendary ballerina twins pad. If you're interested in that, we have a lot of add-on pads as well. Awful creatures, werewolves on all tastes. Uh, stay tuned during the summer, there will be a lot more releases, including mapping category. And let's dive into the topic of the video. So let's say you follow to Toby of Space and found the free mod pet to construct this model or you may have your custom one doesn't matter but let's start with 3ds max with the first way of working with that so we have your pad firstly we have to work on the belly right so this is a separate model jb and lower is a separate model as well how to make it work well quite and quite simple you select all the uh, high meshes you want to be working on and then you select their lod's as well it's extremely important to preserve the lod's but hide them in your view like so uh, now, after you, you have everything you want selected, we probably won't have the hand selected as well. Even the head, if you want to work on the, that chin. Now we go to modify list and we go to FOD box. Uh, we need, we, we care about that belly, so we have to preserve the control points we're going to be working on those squares, more or less to the belly points. So let's make five, five, five points. That's more or less enough. Let's make six, six, six. That's somewhere there. So now we go control points we select it right here and we start just moving you know uh, if that's not enough we can select first two arrays and move like so that's good that's good so because we have our lower selected as well they move along but I want a bit more here so I just move it like that if you have visual artifacts just weld your vertices uh, so when the, your, you are a beast, usually ju not just your belly, so you could worry about uh, making your hands. You can uh, watch in top. You can work in top view, of course. Uh, but you should also worry about like making uh, the hands more or less appropriate, right? We can also work on that chin. Like literally, uh, we don't have enough control points, but we could work on that head, like. You can make it funnier in, in, in that regard, you know, like make it literally bigger uh, or whatever. Now, how do we preserve the skinning? Well, uh, not, uh, I wouldn't uh, call it a quick way, but you leave your modifier. Now you just go back to all the models you have selected and you place it under skin and you collapse two. And you do that to every single model you have selected. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there is a quicker way uh, of doing that. So we moved it along with LODs and preserved the skinning. If we enable our medium LOD, it will be fat as well. Uh, so we will import that into game uh, later on, but now let's dive into the Blender Ray. So here we are in Blender with the same pad, but not bloated yet. Uh, there is uh, another version of Max's FFD in Blender, I would say not as flexible, you will see why in a bit, because you just go to modifier tab of your JB, let us say, let's start with that, and you go under deform, it's called lattice here, and nothing happened, right? Well, because in Blender it's a bit different. Uh, you unselect everything, you go shift A, lattice, you add lattice, and now you have that box, uh, you click it and you go to its properties here and let's make it this resolution is control points Let's make it 666 as well as we had in max and now once going back to our back to our JB We have to assign that lattice like so Now let us do the same with our lower Deform lattice and we can just select it in our scene instead of using uh, the picker and now after selecting the lattice itself, we can go to tap and now we can work with control points. Now let's say we go uh, go Y. 
go Y. Okay, good enough. We can move that as well. You can see our lower moves, our belly moves. Good. But another thing is, let's say you forgot to add something at this stage and you, for example, want to move your sleeve, but your hand is not attached to it, like right to your lattice. It's no problem. You go back, back here, add modifier, deform, lattice, and you just pick it again. And now it worked, you see? So as simple as that, and now we just export it into game and I will show you the result that it works correctly. Hello there! Here we are in game, we can definitely see the pet is bloated by his funny head, but his belly is definitely stretched out, so it all works well, skinning is preserved, um, so it all works correct. Also you can check the LODs, how it works on distance, so it's all preserved and works correctly. If you still have questions left regarding the topping of the video or not, you can join my Discord channel where we help people out in their modding issues. Alternatively, just check out my store, Little Sellout Never Killed Nobody, where we have maps, weapons, awesome pads, and I see you guys later this summer when we're gonna be working on a lot, a lot of the Blender stuff. Thank you for staying with me and goodbye, have a great rest of the day.